<clears throat> What's going on, Reject Nation? We're back at it again. We're going to do a Try Not to Laugh for Family Guy, one that is perfect for both John and I. Family Guy roasting every movie ever made. Yes. Dust our hands off. Uh, okay. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> you're asking the right questions. Now you're being creative, thinking outside the box. Take what you think you know and go a different way with it. Like, like for instance, what if the daughter in Taken was Zoe Deschanel? Send me her head. Okay, okay. <laughs> How many dirty sticking eggs does it take to screw in a light bulb? Three. One dirty stinking ape to screw in the light bulb, and two dirty stinking apes to throw feces at each other. We now return to the director's cut of Mission Impossible 5 with the step stools not edited out. Oh, no. You're coming with me because I'm definitely over six feet and you're not handsome. It's Carol has everything games, food. Oh my god, it's the Carol is from a Christmas story. That's right, America, don't forget, your beloved holiday movie is incredibly racist. And from not that wrong ago. Oh my god, Roadhouse! I want to buy it. Roadhouse. Great. Roadhouse. And as a bonus, I'll throw in What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. No, thank you. No charge. I do not want it. But it's free, sir. If that DVD even touches Roadhouse, I will kill you. Don't worry. Someday someone will come and take you home for their very own. Hmm. Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than that summer I spent in India. Whatever you do, short round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. Indy. Lady only here because she humping director. We now return to oh, Home Alone okay, with Tom and Rogers. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding on to it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Oh! Oh! It's so weird. Dad gets lost in the woods and he makes a doll? That's not that strange. It's kind of what Tom Hanks did in Castaway. Oh. Let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, eight to twelve years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. <laughs> Goodbye, terrible women. Taking us all by surprise, Meg. Like that realistic original ending to Dirty Dancing. Nobody puts baby in a corner. I do, because I'm her father and she's 16. What are you, like 38? 41. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. Two dollars and a Casio wristwatch. 
You can have one of them. A trucker noir. These guys are serious. Lois, Meg's dead. You now return to oh. Superman. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> he lived happily ever after, but he did have to earn it. Hint, hint. Do it, Charlie. I'm not going back to that poor person bed. No, I'll do it if you want. No, it has to be a child. Oh no. Oh. As the Wizard of Oz was at granting wishes. And Dorothy, you wanted herpes, but little did you know, you've had herpes all along. I didn't want herpes. Oh. Well. You've got it. A bit of movies. Rocky IV might be in there. Thanks, John Benjamin. Let's see. Talladega Nights everywhere. Ladybugs, classic Rodney. A million ways to die in the West. No, thank you. <laughs> Please don't go to Mars and fight the Martian. I gotta do what I gotta do. But there's no oxygen on Mars. Yeah, that means there's no oxygen for him either. If that Martian wants a fight, he'll get a fight. You can't fight, Rock. <laughs> oh. You're 60 years. Hey, look what Rocky bought me with his money. You could get a part-time job. Yeah, I had one when I was in high school. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. So you two get some much deserved sleep and don't worry about a thing. I will take such loving care of this wonderful little gift, and when you wake up well rested, your precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the sun. Don't. <laughs> don't. It's dead. Stewie, shut up! What? It's just a weird image. 
Like the way Commissioner Gordon tells Batman that he just took a poop. Ugh, I don't need to know about that. Oh, I guess we're done. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're finished. You make a lot of breathing noises, John. That's that's how I try to refrain from laughing. Is I just <laughs> channel it through my through my breathing. <laughs> I can't not breathe while I'm stifling <laughs> so, laughter. All right. So much breathing. Noises. Tap into my power when I breathe. I'm a joke star. <laughs> now my favorite one was undoubtedly the Mazda joke. Absolutely. <laughs> because I was like, I don't even get what like this is just out of saving Private Ryan. What's the Mazda joke here? Yeah, I was like, where are they gonna insert yeah, yeah. some kind of an Appropriate slogan, and they didn't disappoint me. Literally, it's the smallest ones, the ones that just surprised me the most. Like with the Ghostbusters one, I'm like, I gonna take out uh, Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah it's funny. That'll be 2750. It's so freaking funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. funny. I feel like there's probably like the roasting every movie one. They could do a gajillion of them. I think the smartest one is the Home Alone one. That, I mean, that one, you know, got me in the soul just because I've always wondered what might have happened in a world with more ruthless, less whimsical criminals. <laughs> and I just feel like, yeah, they probably get inside and be like, what is this crap all over the floor? Oh, damn. <laughs> you know? I didn't realize how much they love clowning on Patrick Swayze. Yeah, he's in a lot of these. He's, he's a, he's a, they really love clowning on Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, he's been in so many classics from Ghost to Roadhouse and a, a bunch of things in between, I guess. <laughs> Dirty Dancing. But but the smartest, actually, you know what the smartest one to me might be the oh, the Superman, Superman one with the X-rays and how they develop cancer because yeah. of the amount of like <laughs> peeping Tom Superman does. That's First a pretty funny one. Every <laughs> woman I've ever known, and now this, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty good. And and I mean, it's always. You know, nice to watch a filmmaker take a, a, a jab at themselves with that million ways to die in the West uh, crack. Of course. <laughs> the Zoom Zoom got me the best because it was the best, most effective case of like really luring me in, getting me to focus, like where are they gonna come with me, you know? <laughs> and then surprising me with something nice. So I think that was still the, the pinnacle. Try not to laugh, Family Guy roasts in every movie. I think Family Guy's the best to try not to laugh. So recommend some, leave them down below. Subscribe, click that notification, Bell. Maybe we'll do trying to last a little bit more off. Maybe like once a week. Anywho, let's end this with a pick. <laughs> I want to shout out today Zach Feifel because Zach Feifel has sent over a Try Not To Laugh request for Whose Line Is It Anyway. I try getting up on YouTube. I ran a test, got blocked right away. Zach Feifel, I know that you are going out there. You're trying to get us to watch some videos that you're recommending. You constantly have recommendations our way, and I appreciate that thoroughly. I just want to say thank you for your support. I appreciate you looking out, looking for ways to improve content and for finding content for us that could possibly be very enjoyable for audiences to watch and for us to enjoy as well. So thank you for being you, dude, and appreciate your encouragement and support through and through, buddy. You be safe, you be well. Much love to you. Keep finding the good stuff.